David, I'm getting more on the Verizon charter deal. You are? Yes, I am. From John Ledger. Uh, okay, John says, John at Jim Cramer, said. sounds like at charter discussion is like a toupee to cover Verizon bald spot. Hashtag midlife crisis, hashtag hopeless. So there's a guy who weighs in as we talk. That is an interesting idea. You know, and notice how T-Mobile's doing again, today. Dow Jones reporting a story about preliminary, uh, preliminary, uh, not even talk, sort of a overture. Um, and this is something that's been out there for a number of weeks as a possibility. Certainly something I've talked to many people about is at least the idea of it. Um, could it be you deflection? Charter stock is up a little over six. Could it be deflection given how the Verizon call was such a downer? I mean, I was I just like, wow. It could be. Guys. But Verizon stock, what a what a poor week it's had given the earnings that were real less than expected. I mean, missing that much for an art. Well, it's not an R block anymore, but for a wire for a wireless giant like that to miss. Well, Verizon's still talking about how their network is appreciably better than all the other guys. Yeah, but, but you but see those advertisements for Sprint. There's only one percent different, and the fellow who uh, does the advertising for Sprint used to looks be remarkably like the fellow. Yes. Who asked you, he was the can you hear me now guy. That was probably that's one of the worst contracts negotiated ever. By the way, worth noting that Verizon. shares of Dish are down about 4 plus percent. Why? Well, it has always been thought that Verizon might be interested in Dish, given that company's sizable spectrum portfolio. Right. Now, Dish's spectrum is at the high end, higher end, um, but there's still been a thought that that would be of interest, and overall the company would be. Remember, at t bought DirecTV. So why wouldn't Verizon consider at least buying Dish? That stock is down on this news. Uh, that was a Comcast, reaction. our parent, is back up, by the way, I would point out, 7450. All right, well, that makes a little more sense given the fact that all I, going there are no I flies believe. on that thing. Um, and then when we talk about consolidation, broadly speaking, in the telecom slash cable yes. arena, we certainly have to also come back to your friend, Mr. Ledger, and Sprint, which well, look we at know the, has been this concerted yeah, effort Sprint. by Masayoshi's son. Uh, uh, his visit to Trump Tower, his promise of jobs, to try to get that deal to the finish line yet again with the hopes that under a Department of Justice, Trump Department of Justice, they'll have better luck than they did previously in going well, from four to three. I still think it could be an issue, right, but Jim, right, many right, people right, believe right. the synergies and the efficiencies, although there would be job losses. Job losses, and that's why we asked Dow and Belda. And as I've reported, the Germans would be potentially open to at least the idea of, um, of such a combination. If their guy, Ledger, was able to run it, right. uh, it would allow them to deconsolidate perhaps the earnings, which is not necessarily a bad thing from their perspective, but give them a sizable still economic stake in the wireless business here because they have benefited enormously from it, right. given both the currency but also the EBITDA growth that we've seen at T-Mobile. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.